Hi friends! Today we're going to play a shape matching game. So I have a puzzle and each puzzle piece has a match. So the puzzle pieces look like this and they have a shape on one side with the name of the shape, rectangle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through my other pile that I have over here. See all my pieces? And then we're going to try to figure out which ones match so that we put them together and match the shapes and the colors. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna mix up my pieces. Mix them up. Oh, and then I'm gonna show you the surprise on the back once we figure out and match the two pieces together. All right, I'm excited. So here we go, I'm gonna move my camera down so that you can see all of my shapes on the table. So here's all my shapes. All right, here's my pile of cards I'm gonna close my eyes. Actually, I'm going to put my cards behind my back and I'm just going to pick a card. So here we go. Ooh. Ah, oh, look at that. What shape is that? It has two long sides and two short sides. That's a rectangle. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, no. Not that one. And it's not the same color. I think rectangle is down here. All right, we're gonna turn it over and I'm gonna show you what's on the other side. Check it out, it makes a big rectangle. That's pretty cool. Okay, put my cards behind my back. Let's pick another one. All right, here we go. Ooh, what shape is that? It's a star, a yellow star. Let's see if we can find the yellow star. Mm, oh, I see yellow. There it is, let's put it together. All right, we're gonna turn it over. Let's take a look and see what's on the other side. Whoa, check that out. There's one big yellow star. Okay, here goes the next one. <clears throat> here we go. Ooh, we see this when we're driving outside and we usually see the word stop in the middle. This is called an octagon. Can you say octagon? octagon. Let's see if we can find the red octagon. Oh, it's right here in front of me. All right, we're going to put that together. Okay, let's turn it over and see. There it is, the red octagon. An octagon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. Let's see how many corners it has. A corner is where the two lines meet. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, eight lines, eight sides, and eight corners. Okay, let's get the next one. Here we go. Oh, this one's so easy. It's an orange circle. Let's see if we can find the circle. There it is. There's our circle. Okay, let's turn it over. Wow, look at that big circle. Oh, my puzzle's coming apart. There it goes. Orange circle. Okay, let's pick the next one. Here we go. Oh, it's purple. It's a stretched out circle. It looks like an egg. This is called an oval and it's purple. Oh, I see purple right down here. A purple oval. Here we go. Wow, do you see that egg shape? Yeah, that's called an oval. Okay, here we go. Next one, let's count how many shapes we have left. One, two, three, four, five. Five shapes, that's a whole hand. Okay, here we go, next shape. Oh, it's blue, my favorite color. And it has one, two, three sides and one, two, three corners. That is a triangle. Oh, here it is triangle. Let's turn it over. Look at that. There it is. Our three corners. One, two, three, and three sides. One, two, three. That's how we know it's a triangle. All right, here we go. Four left. Mm, let's see if we can pick another one. Ooh, this is teal. What shape is that? We call it a diamond. 
And the big fancy math word for it is a rhombus. Can you say rhombus? Rhombus or diamond. Let's see if we can find the diamond. Oh, there it is. Let's put it together. There's our diamond. Now the cool thing about a diamond is it has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four quarters, just like a square. But we're gonna show you the square so we can see how it looks different from a square. So that's a rhombus, a diamond. One, two, three left, here we go. Trying to pick it, it's not going into my hand. Here it is, oh, well look at that. We were just talking about this shape with one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four corners. It's a square. All right, let's turn it over. There's our square. Oh, there we go, there's our square. And here is our diamond, okay? So square, the square sits on its side. The diamond sits on its corner, okay? We've got two left. Ooh, let's see if we can figure out which two are left. Can you see those? We've got, yep, you're right, it's a heart. We have a heart left. This one might be a little tricky, but I bet you you can figure it out. It's a moon. Also, it's also called a crescent. So this is a crescent. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. We were just talking about this shape, a crescent. So let's put it together. All right, let's see the big crescent. There it is. You see how it looks like a little moon shape? So that's called a crescent. Okay, last shape. What's our last shape? There it is. What shape is that? It also means love. There it is. It's a heart and it's pink. Okay, let's turn it over. There's the heart. Okay, so let's name our shapes and then we'll be done with our game. So we're going to start at the top and then we're going to read the bottom ones. Okay, so we have a crescent, a triangle, a square, an octagon, a circle, a heart, there it is, a diamond or a rhombus, a star, an oval, and I'm going to slide these over, a rectangle. Good job naming all of your shapes and helping me put my puzzle together. I'll see you next time. Bye!